Welcome back guys to the River Zoo. It is the newbiest zookeeper of them all. Arsenal Roberts here. We're breeding lots and lots of animals. Hopefully the enclosures won't be too claustrophobic. Well, the animals won't be too claustrophobic in the enclosures. The penguins, I'm surprised they're not complaining at all. They seem to be rather content. I went ahead and accidentally sold, I think, one of the female Ibex. Which is a bit of a shame. Because now we have way too many males. So hopefully we can mitigate that problem. I've also got a little moose baby. And as well as some cheetahs. Although, let's see, is one of them eating him? Eating anything yet? No. They seem to be rather happy with space, which is good. And I also had the ability to get some tigers, Bengal tigers, and some elephants. I guess African elephants. But, unfortunately, the ability has seemed to have disappeared. And I was going to place them both over here. Oh well, tigers over here and ring-tailed lemmas there. Because tigers are going to be right next to the tiger fountain. That makes sense, I guess. We've also got a couple of donation boxes here and there so I can scrooge the people of all their money. Which is the way to do your things. What's your problem? I needed money but couldn't find an ATM. That's a pretty good idea. That's something that I have neglected. Is um the good old ATM. Put in trusty ATM. So let's go look for where we can get them. Hopefully that hasn't screwed the roads up too much. Doesn't seem like it has, which is good. It's still all walkable. Like we had problems in that thing that was the third episode. Mind you, all of these are pre-recorded. Hopefully you guys can understand that. It's pretty much the only way, well, the best way you can record these really long episodes. And it's too much fun for me to want to leave it. And then, uh, well, then save and then stop playing the game. I just want to keep playing seamlessly. I think it also ends up being some better quality videos. But I really don't like the fact that we've run out of the ability to go ahead and get some tigers makes me quite sad so I'm not sure where I should place these giraffes because over here there's just too much stuff I think I might try to place them here how much do they cost a reticulated giraffe let me buy it so there we go seven thousand five hundred dollars quite pricey indeed but I do have the money for it so I might as well do it Let's see, does he have any problems? No, he's pretty good. So let's go get a male as well, so they can create babies and have a lovely time. Some of them are a little bit hungry, but it's okay. Check out our zoo fame as well. So we've released the maximum amount of animals into the wild. All I really need now is a much larger number of species and some more educational habitats and I also need to entertain my guests a bit more. So we've got a really large amount of animals. I'm quite surprised at that. Oh wow, and our cheetah has given birth. So now what I'll do is instead of, there's a little pup or baby, whatever you call a baby cheetah. Uh, so now what I'll do is I'll put him up for adoption. So instead of putting him out into the wild, I'll put him up for adoption and you might be able to get some money from that. I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments down below. But all in all, what, what happened to the mouse camera? Oh, this ain't no good. Okay. It's going to be stuck for a little bit. Okay, Ibex1 has given a birth. It damn well better be a female. Yes. Seems like it is. It is. Very nice. Oh, nice. Wow, Ibex1 just had a baby. It's so cute. What is this maintenance worker doing? He's going to go sit on the bench. He better be going sitting on the bench. Worker low. Righto. So, I need to start worrying about my money because, well, I do want to make more money. I guess I just need to entertain my guests a little bit more. And I probably should be doing that over in this area where I'm starting to bring a lot of them in. So how am I going to do that exactly? I still don't know yet. 
I have to have some new rides here and there. A rhino bouncy ride or a giraffe slide? Giraffe slides sure do sound fun. Well, all these animals give me mirth. Let's learn that. Giraffe slide. Because I think I'll go ahead and place giraffes out of here. And then we'll create like a walkway around. Okay. Uh, I think that's pretty good. It's just all these animals that are giving birth now. I need to start selling some stuff. Ostrich 2. How many ostriches we have? There's a baby there as well. I think it's only those three though. Whereas with the gazelles, I'm probably going to have to start selling a few. Or at least put them up for adoption. Let's really... Okay. Click to put this animal up for adoption so that other zoos may consider acquiring it. Okay. Did I even make any money from it? I don't think I did. We might be able to check. Check this. I hate how there's no sound in the background now. Makes like a little bit of a static noise on my microphone that much more apparent. Um, but now check out over here. Animal adoption or anything. Nope. Anyway, it's weird how in this game, the most of your money you make it through donations. Pretty interesting. I might as well just lower the, there we go, the admission cost as well. Hopefully that'll entice more people in and then I want to donate more. I should also place a donation box in over here. There we go. So while the people are looking at over here, they should hopefully when they want to give out money, they can. Oh, what did she say? Educator Rodden is very educational. Well, that is his job. That definitely is his job. Oh, finally, we're starting to get animals that are dying. It only takes 11 months, though, but now they're starting to die. So that gives me that answer. They do die. And uh, we'll need to start keeping a fair amount of more animals. I think camel, what was our next animal? I think camels were our next one. And then these moose, and then penguins. Oh, wow, there's a lot of these peafowls that are starting to die. I guess they all have different ages that they live up to as well. Does it say in the encyclopedia how much they live up to? Not from what I can see. Not from skimming over here, but... There's quite a big Zoopedia. Obviously from Encarta. Good memories of Encarta. Just sucks that Microsoft uh, let go of it. It was pretty much like... Well, well, compared to what Wikipedia is now, it was a really basic Wikipedia. But you didn't have to be online. So it was pretty much the shit back in the day when you were doing assignments. What are these people doing? That guy shouldn't be luring little girls away from society. Not liking that. All that animals are dying though. Poor little peafowls. I wonder what happens when they die. You can't really see their carcasses. I really need to stop selling all of them. I'm surprised the common peafowl one is still alive. Going to take a dust bath as you do. Not too much information that you can really find on these animals. Just need to make more money now. If only there's a way I could speed up time. But I guess this game is not as advanced for that. For my very difficult to please needs. This meat's lasting is quite a little while. Wow. Very interesting. Oh, and there's two babies now. Or is that no, it's the same one? 
No, it's three to four, so there are two babies. Or at least did we sell one or pregnant? I really do have short term memory loss though. <laughs> Alright, all these gazelles are getting pregnant. Let's check out the need for space though. That's good. I'm glad we did that little improvement at the start of the last episode. There seems to be too many problems coming up from that now. Oh, we can get chimpanzees now. $15,000. Still too much for me. Let's go and place some fences. Though. This costs $130. Oh, I might as well splurge though. Because whatever animal is going to be here, it's going to be quite pricey still. Not sure if I can exactly justify it, but I am doing it somehow. Of course, we need the gates. I should place it right over here. There we go. Maybe oh, another one there. Okay. Whoa, what the hell? What the hell just happened? Move him, move him, move him. How in the world did that happen? What is he trying to do? There is no way that he could have come out of here. He must have glitched out. Oh wait, maybe he could have run out. Maybe that's his shtick. Oh, you can't get out of here, can you? Let's move you up here. I think that might be a little bit of a problem with the uh, low fences. I think that's what might have caused it. Unless he glitched out. Okay, how are our peafowls doing? We've got peafowl 14. But at least we've got a couple of males. Yep, that's good. The zookeeper's running to and fro. Like, what is the need for adopting animals out? Like, it's only good for other zoos to contemplate getting them, but I don't think you really get any money from it, though, do you? Hmm. Right, I think what I'll get is a bit more educators right now, but I don't want to splurge too much money. That's what we've been doing a lot of, especially with all these new animals, these new pricey animals. Oh, why am he not suitable? Okay, what do you need for privacy? Okay, giraffe house, you need a special house. I'll get that for you guys. God damn it, what are you doing? Of course this isn't suitable for you. Of course that isn't suitable for you either. Which one's pregnant? Hopefully it's not like one of them that's managed to escape somehow. <laughs> Doesn't seem like they can run out. Maybe it's just glitching out. At least I hope that's what it is. Yeah, I'll, I'll really try to help them out with their need for their own animal shelter, the giraffe house. I think I'll place it up here. What environments are they like exactly? Savannah. Yeah, so I'll place it up here. Whereas this is just desert. It's more whitish and the yellow is savannah. Makes sense. Penguins, we got. Oh, this one's finally come out. Is that another egg? That is another egg. Research for the giraffe house has been completed. There we 
Hopefully they can get up there. If not, I'll just move them there. Or at least near there. Oh no, don't be unhappy. I'm gonna have to move this, aren't I? And I can't. <gasps> no! This might be a bit of a problem. I might have to smoothen the ground out just a little bit. Raise the brush size up. Guess would like some desserts. I can give them that. Hold on, I want more animals, damn it. I don't want to please the people. Who cares about that? What are you trying to do? Are you trying to mate? No? Oh, finally, common peafowl one has died of old age. Took him a while. Still 11 months. There you go, I think he's going inside. Check it out. No? Well, at least he's still happy and content. Oh, here we go. He's going in. Very good going to rest in the giraffe house that is what we wanted now on the topic of desserts let's see how it can help out the people what's that a gift shop no yeah there we go healthy snack alternative maybe that's not really a dessert cheesecake is most definitely dessert though so I'll get one of them Place that like somewhere around here. Hopefully it won't cause too much of a problem with the ground as well. That always gets messy. Is there anyone even in the gazebo? Yes, there is. This donation box got 12 donors. $754 for us so far. Check out the other ones. Okay, I can't complain. Could always be better. Wow, forty thousand dollars in donations. What about the one right at the entry? Fourteen thousand, and our very first one or so, wherever it is, I see it. Thirty-six thousand. Wow. So the one that we've placed not too long ago in this section is giving us the most money. This is a ridiculous amount of money though. Must have been a brilliant placement. We've got a new penguin, just hatched. Very good. Pooping on dirt. I just have a problem with space now. Oh, he's treated three an adult now. It sure is. Okay, now the research for the cheesecake cart is complete, so we'll want to get one of them. And I'll place another one right up around here somewhere, if I can. Where are our maintenance workers? They seem to be just bludgeoning about. Not cleaning up very much, are they? There they are. Now we're down to two thousand dollars. Check out what day is it? December four. So we go to here. Animal happiness could all could improve a little bit. No, we just need more species of animals and. More educational habitats. Guests are really happy. We need more entertaining animals, though. Guests like having a good view of healthy, happy, and active animals. They also like rare and exotic animals. 
to ensure guests are enjoying their animals, make sure that animals are happy, they have lots of things to do, and that guests can get and view them close up. All right. And our financial situation exactly is for the last month. Hmm. I guess if I lowered the construction, we'd be making a bit more money as well as research and staff salaries. Oh, well, it went down from October. Interesting. And we're not getting as many people. It's also pretty interesting. Our zoo fame hasn't gone up in a little while. At least not as quickly as we used to. Desserts would like some... Well, guests would like some desserts. Hmm. That's no good. I don't like it when you're in a dirty exhibit. Might need to hire a new person, won't I? Let's clean it out a little bit. Oh. These guys don't really seem to be complaining. It's just this guy. He needs more privacy. As, there we go. I think he's finally going inside. He's going to get his privacy need, finally. So I think what I'll do before the next episode is I'll just leave the game as it is and I'll just uh, wait until we get a bit more money because we're making a profit. It's just that I need to wait it out and we won't really be doing much. So I think the best way to do it is just leave the game running on for a little bit without recording and then we'll be back more people want desserts I'm going to be upset at the lack of trash cans when you just went past like a million of them might have to spread them out a little bit won't I that's probably a good idea though spreading out the trash cans More animals are pregnant. That's a gems bar. Are you guys going to be fighting? No? What do you need for privacy? I haven't given you what you wanted. Okay. How about a shade structure? That should do the trick. This one just really wants privacy. What if I just pop him right over here? Hopefully he realizes where I just... Yeah, there we go. It's going to take a rest. Are you going to start turning around? Into the shade structure or what? Well, it's pregnant as well. There we go. Making a lot of money in these uh, sushi stores, aren't we? Both the sushi and water. And then the desserts. Thankfully our cleaner's coming in to clean this up. We'll have to move this in over here. Go. Check out how this is going. It was $172 last month. This has given us nothing. I'm sure people can still walk through. No? Have I just like literally made people stuck over here? That's not good then. Place this here. Oh wow, there's like a school excursion happening over here. I didn't think, don't think that really exists in this game though. Look at overall, what's this like a lifetime? Guests in the zoo, 100. Cash grants, so that's what we started off with. $98,000 in donations. Just the animal adoption costs a lot, and then the construction of buildings and research, it all adds up. Definitely all adds up.
So go back to the animals. I think I'll have to sell for some chimps out over here in this area. And I think with chimps. Hmm, what should I do with chimps? Well, how much do they cost? 15 grand, don't they? Yeah, it's still a lot of money. Maybe these ring ringtail lemmas and chimps will be able to live together. I wouldn't be surprised if they'd be able to do that. They're both like this, a large rock cave. How much does it cost to research? $800. So I'll get that in the meantime and I'll build up a fence around over here. Lose a bit more money in the meantime. Oh, Thompson's Gazelle 1 has died of old age. Poor thing. Uh, let's continue on with the fence building, though. And we'll end the episode after I build it. So, do that and then put a fence in there. Like so. Also, get a bit of water as well. So at least I can have an endless supply of water to drink from, etc. Now, penguins really seem to be enjoying everything. Oh, we've got a new Ibex. Ibex. Very cool. How's the gem spot going with its breeding? It's pregnant. This guy's pregnant. And this guy's pregnant. Oh, wow. Good stuff there, mate. He's doing quite a good job reading quite a bit uh, so yeah I'll need a bit more zookeepers but I'm just gonna wait it out until I make more money so until next time guys thanks for watching we'll be back hopefully you have enjoyed and I'll see you all later for another episode of a zoo